Samsung says both the design flaw and manufacturing problems caused some of its Galaxy Note 7 smartphones to overheat and then burst into flames. The company released a conclusion of its investigation into the burned phones overnight. Now, the phones, as you know, led to a massive recall that cost Samsung billions of dollars. Chris Van Cleve is in Washington with what the company now plans to do next. Chris, good morning to you. Good morning. This was an unfortunate case of lightning striking twice for Samsung. After it recalled the Note 7 and made some modifications, the replacements had a similar but different problem with overheating. The public laying out of what went wrong and new safety protocols is all in an effort to win back customers. A Samsung executive apologized Monday as he detailed the results of the company's investigation into what caused its Galaxy Note 7 smartphones to overheat and catch fire. They had two separate types of defects from two different suppliers, but they had the same end result. Samsung says since it began the recall last September, 700 researchers worked to replicate the problems using 200,000 devices and 30,000 batteries. They concluded the original issue was a design flaw. The company says incorrect battery positioning created problems in the phone's upper right corner. It caused the two parts of the battery to basically come into contact with each other and short out, and that caused overheating and, and some of the fires that you saw. The replacement phones had a problem with how the batteries were welded together. That led to an internal short circuit. They went to great uh, pains to point out that in all their testing, they didn't find any flaws with the actual design and build of the phone hardware or the software in it. Uh, they put all the blame strictly on the batteries and the manufacturer of those batteries. A source tells CBS News the first battery was supplied by a Samsung company. The second was outsourced, and the production problem there was linked to a rapid increase in production to replace all the phones from the initial recall. Samsung says 96% of the 3 million Note 7s sold worldwide have now been returned. In the U.S., it received 13 reports of burns, 47 reports of property damage associated with Note 7 phones, and a total of 96 reports of overheating batteries. And it's a black eye in terms of consumer confidence. Uh, uh, people are obviously going to think twice about getting another Samsung phone. I think that this incident is survivable, but uh, their phone business is going to have to win back the trust of consumers. Part of that is a newly announced eight-point safety check on all Samsung phones, which it says will exceed industry standards. Worldwide, about 120,000 Note 7s are still outstanding, and we are still waiting for the results of a separate investigation into the overheating problems, this one by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Nora? All right, Chris, thank you. A lot of people still love their Samsung. Yes. It has a very nice camera and a lot of nice... Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't want to give it up. It has all your information. That's why they just shut it down so you can't use it's, it. It's one of those moments where transparency is essential. That's Agreed. right. Tell them everything. That's right. Agreed.